Now they also did increase Scrappy's damage from 240 to 260 at level one. Is Scrappy a new brawler? Is Scrappy Zohan? What is going on guys? This is Benny, you bring another Brawl Stars video. I'm really excited today. We have a mini update for the game. We have some new buffs and nerfs for some brawlers here. Gonna shake up the meta, make things feel fresh here. So today we're gonna go over the balance changes and I am really, really excited to show some matches while I talk about the changes, how I think they're gonna affect the meta. Let me know your thoughts on this and let's get into this. So also I do wanna say guys, this season I'm gonna be trophy pushing like crazy. So definitely like if you guys wanna see some crazy trophy pushing. It's mainly a new personal best, whether that be 19,000, 20,000, We'll, we will see, but I'm going to be streaming a lot of my push over at twitch.tv slash Benson1. So if you guys want to follow along, chat with me, whatever, go follow me over there. Link is in the description below. A lot of times I'll be streaming, I don't know, like midday um, in the U.S. Central time zone. So like anywhere between maybe like 10 a.m. to like 4 p.m. Central time. That's a lot of times when you will find me streaming. And now let's get into these balance changes here. So some buffs we're gonna go over the buffs first this brawler really really needed it so the first brawler that is receiving a buff is tara or tara whatever you want to call her but she is well overdue for receiving some love here she has fallen out of favor a lot she's lackluster in damage the one good thing going for her that she has is her super because it's very impactful with the drag and everything else like that but the downside with her is it takes a long time to get so basically what they ended up doing was buffing her main attack making it more impactful when you land your shots and basically having tara deal more damage so they increased her main attack damage at level one from 380 to 420. Uh, max level assuming like things just stay the same she is going to be dealing 588 damage per card as opposed to 532 so nice little buff there that's gonna be really really helpful for her what i would have liked to have seen is maybe a reduction in the time it takes to get her super because it's so helpful. But they also did something else. They increased Black Portal's summoned Shadow's Pet's damage from 400 to 600. So the Black Portal pet is now gonna deal a little bit more damage and it has a decent amount of health as well. So they could be useful. I think the reason why they wanted to do this because most people were using Healing Shade. I still might use Healing Shade. I don't know if that's enough, but at least they're boofing, uh, buffing at least they're boofing here. At least they're buffing Black Portal a little bit and Tara as a whole. We'll have to see if these changes do help. Obviously, they're going to help her out. It's a buff. But is it going to, like, overall change her to become super meta relevant? That I am sure. Uh, I'm not sure of. I think it's more of, like, if they decrease the time it took to get her super. Maybe even by just, like, one hit or one card or two cards. It would be super, super more impactful for her. But damage buff is nice. Let me know your thoughts on Tar here. The next brawler to receive a buff. I was kind of surprised by this one. She got a buff on her skin with the last update with Summer Jesse. Now they're buffing her stats. So Jesse is going to be getting an increased main attack damage at level 1 from 820 to 840. Assuming these changes stay the same, because I'm recording this a little bit before the balance changes go live. That's why I can't show you actual gameplay changes of them yet, but her main attack at max level was currently, before the update, was 1,148. That is getting buffed to 1,176. So she's gonna hit a little bit harder, and I think she's gonna even be a very good choice now, even more than she already was in takedown for sure. And now hopefully this lets her branch out to other game modes, because she has fallen out, I've said this with Tara too, she fell out of favor. Uh, in like being as a gem carrier brawler. Now they also did increase Scrappy's damage from 240 to 260 at level one. Is Scrappy a new brawler? Is Scrappy Zohan? No, it is her turret if you did not know. So Scrappy is her turret and before it did 336 damage and now it is going to be dealing 364 damage assuming like I said everything stays the same and that's gonna be that's a lot of damage. If you, like, her turret is so annoying. A lot of times you cannot take care of it. And it is just frustrating when it's shooting at you. And now it's gonna hurt even more when you're continuing to run at it and just, it's crazy. And pair that with her star power that allows her to heal up her turret, it's gonna be insane. Pair that with Shocky, those bounce shots, it's gonna be insane. So I think this is a pretty good buff for Jesse. I think it's gonna help her a lot in her damage and overall just being a better brawler. I mean, it's a buff. It's gonna make her a better brawler. You have a very polarizing brawler. Some people think he's amazing. Some people think he sucks. Uh, probably depends on the game modes you play. In solo modes, Nightmaker Crow is amazing. In 3v3s, he's pretty solid as well. Sometimes he does feel lackluster though um, in like the close to range maps, but he's receiving a buff. Three big buffs here. They are increasing his main attack damage from 300 
to 320. That means at max damage or at max level, he's gonna be, his it used to be 420 per dagger. Now it's gonna be 448 per dagger. And they are also increasing his super attack damage from 300 to 320, so the daggers from his super obviously are going to be 448 now as well. But that's not all. They are increasing the extra the extra toxic star power enemy damage reduction from 13% to 16%. So they're trying to incentivize people to use extra toxic a little bit more to reduce the damage. I still do like carry on crow. Um, but with the toxic getting that buff to 3% change... I might consider using it if you're playing team modes. And in solo modes, I still think Carry On Crow is going to be so much better. Uh, the reason why Extra Toxic could be nice is for the team modes because then your teammates also get benefit of taking less damage. So, kind of my thoughts with that. I think it's going to overall, just the damage alone is going to make him a lot better. Um, he's going to be that, he's going to feel like more of like that assassin brawler that we used to love. Yes, you heard it here first. Piper is actually receiving a buff a lot of people have been calling for piper's nerf i'm actually with okay with how she is because she's a little bit of the higher skill cap brawler and if a brawler is a little bit more of the higher skill cap i think they deserve to be if played well and played right a good brawler but all they're really buffing is ambush which we i could have saw this coming because everyone is using snappy sniping there's really no reason to use ambush but now there might be piper's attack is now going to deal instead of 500 it is going to deal 800 damage for ambush I think you add it on to there. That is it's gonna be 3096. 3080 is Tick's HP. And she is going to be dealing with ambush at 800. 3096. She's going to one-hit tick when she's in the brush or the grass or the bush. So many different ways you can say that, by the way. So many people comment that. <laughs> uh, and at max range. Piper. Just got a little bit better. Maybe be using um, Ambush. I don't know. Had to test it out, but for sure, Snappy Sniping is what changed her a lot to make her really good. So Getting hard. off those shots faster, faster, faster if you're landing them. But Ambush, surprisingly, I, I, it's intriguing. Mortis is also receiving a buff. They are increasing the health gain from Creepy Harvest. It is going up from 1400 to what it was to now 1800. Pretty much reverting it back to what it was normally, I think, um, when Creepy Harvest was still very good. The, the, re the regen from it is crazy. It's going to help him out a lot in, like, obviously, gem grab and the 3v3 game modes. But I still think I'm going to give the edge to Cold Snake for now. Just because that surprise factor and the instant take them out on the range, like, it adds to him. But Creepy Harvest is still going to be nice, and I'm glad they're doing this. Um... I kind of gave them flack a little bit for the do not buy the other sandy star power because like some brawlers just have crazy star powers and the other ones suck. It's like why not make them all sort of balanced so if you get one you don't feel crappy that you didn't get the good star power, you know what I mean? So I'm happy to see that they're at least in increasing creepy harvest for us. For Gene, I don't think this is going to do anything. Uh, for his other star power magic puffs, they are increasing the heal from 200 to 300. I do not think that's much as much of a benefit. I still think this star power sucks. Uh, due to, Magic Puffs is like terrible in almost every situation compared to Spirit Slap. Spirit Slap just does so much more for him. I think they need to rework Magic Puffs or make the range like ridiculous or the heal so much better before it actually has more value than Spirit Slap. Um, so I don't think that's enough for Gene. Now to the nerfs. Everyone that could see this coming from a mile away, Sandy is receiving a nerf. Now, it's not the nerf that everyone thought so far. They are decreasing Rude Sand damage per second from 200 to 40. That's a big nerf. If that does not tell you how good Root Sands, is at, Root Sands was at 200 damage, that's insane. And it's still going to be good at 40 damage. It's not going to be as crazy. It's not going to allow you to like finish off as many brawlers as you once would or would have. But you still get the benefit of being able to check large areas. Brush. Brush or bush. I have to say that every single time now, otherwise I'm gonna get comments on it. But basically, it's still gonna be good. It's still gonna lock down. It's still not gonna, since it does have damage being dealt, it still is gonna lock down and not let the enemies heal up. It's just not gonna be as impactful for finishing off brawlers. I mean, you're still gonna get kills with it, don't get me wrong, but just not as many, which is fine. And then at the same time, they also have reduced Sandstorm charge rate from five attacks to six attacks required for a full charge so you're still gonna get it a lot 
I think that was necessary because he got a super way too quick with how big and large it is. So I think that's an appropriate Sandy nerf. I think it's going to put him a little bit more in check. But 12 seconds is still a thing. So BB receiving some nerfs. They are changing batting stance here, or reducing batting stance. Batting stance, shield damage reduction from 40% to 30%. So she's not going to feel like she has so much more crazy health. So batting stance, getting nerfed. I'm okay with that. Um, honestly, I like home run a little bit better, but batting stance was getting crazy. And they also are nerfing her health. It is going to be decreased from 4,400 to 4,300. Now at max level, she is going to have 6,020. Maybe they'll round that down to just like 6,000. I don't know. Um, my calculations may be a little off or whatever. My calculation, so it's over in the glasses today. No, I don't know. It probably will be around 6,000 now for HP. Sorry, my numbers aren't as exact. We just got the patch notes like slightly earlier from the release, but we don't have like a dev build to show you guys the actual update changes with it. This brawler was so annoying. I hated facing him. It was unfair. It is tick. His main attack mini mines are now deployed in a fixed pattern on the ground. So they're not going to be random. They're going to be probably similar to the spike where, or it's going to be similar to spike. You know, I know you guys know how without curveball, it's always the same pathing where they go. It's probably going to be some sort of triangle, I had to guess, or some sort of area circle. They're always going to look the exact same when you throw those ticks. Um, ticks main attack. I wish they did that with Piper Super. If they're going this route, I think maybe in the future we'll love to see that. I'm going to push for that. I think that would make sense. Because how bad is it with Piper Super when you are trying to destroy a wall? You jump back and the bombs don't go where you want them and they don't destroy the wall. Worst feeling. So hopefully with Piper they fix that if they're doing that with Tick. Because now these bombs are going to be set on the map in exactly that. It's going to help you for dodging as well. So that's really awesome. The random, as long as they take randomness out of the game, I'm happy with that. Uh, they decrease the mini mines explosion radius by 6%. Thank goodness. Now you get a little more extra wiggle room to dodge them or run away from them. And then now they decrease the minimi mini mines duration on the ground from 2 seconds to 1.6. That was a big issue as well. They were staying on the map for far too long and just locking down that little area for 2 seconds. It was crazy. So now it's only going to do 1.6 seconds. It's going to help out a lot. It's going to feel a lot better, I think, facing Tick. So I'm happy about those changes. Uh, and then the last nerf is for Primo. A sad, a sad day. He did get an OP rework and the King Primo skin, but they are actually just just nerfing Meteor Rush. It's going to be Meteor Rush duration from five seconds to four seconds. Um, it was getting a little crazy in Brawl Ball. You guys know with YDE when we had him on, he's like, yeah, I think it needs to get nerfed. So Meteor Rush a little less dominant, but it's still gonna be very good, I think. Um, that movement speed is just crazy. I think it could even go to like 3.5 seconds. That's just me, but. They're going down in increments here, so I'm happy with that. But those are all the the update brawler changes here. So 18 balance update, balance changes, whatever you want to call them to the brawlers here. Let me know your thoughts. For in terms of like content-wise in an update, hopefully we get some news on that soon. I mean, we did have one very recently in September where we had the new game modes and everything. So I don't know, maybe beginning of November would be nice. Maybe even end of October, we will see. I have to expect though, like... They're probably gonna do something maybe with skins for like the because you guys know how Clash Royale always and has always in Clash of Clans even they always do something cool for Halloween. So we have to believe maybe Brawl Stars will be on that train as well. So maybe around that time is when we can expect a new update. I mean on my stream today, like someone had a great idea of like a pumpkin Daryl skin where he has like the pumpkin shell around him. That would be epic. So there's so many cool ideas. So I hope to see an update or some sort of maybe maybe just like skins or something for Halloween. I think it would be so cool. But let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification or whatever. Because whenever we do get new update news or whatever, you're going to see here first. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.